Hey friends, it's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette. Look, I'm hiding. Can y'all see that? Um, so today is Friday. I'm gonna call it Friday because it's been a crazy, crazy busy week, but it's been amazing. And I'm so excited to do the last part of this. So if you're just joining me, we started working on this tray last week. Last week? Yeah, gosh, it's been a week, I think. No, maybe Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, we started working on this tray. I can't even keep track of the days anymore. And hello, Miss Kimberly. When you jump on, say hi. And make sure you hit that S button and sprinkle the love um, so that your friends can see our big reveal too. So I'm taking all of these clamps off. If you missed it, um, these are not super heavy duty, but they're really good clamps. Um, and I found them at Dollar Tree. They were two for a dollar. So these are the two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then these are heavier duty and they came from Harbor Freight. They're not expensive either, but these were super cheap. So I'm pulling my clamps off. Hello, bestie. Pulling my clamps off and we are gonna do the very last part. Now, I had someone, I won't name names, say, oh my gosh, Kara, why? Why, why is this one so long? Okay, friends, it's because when we decorate, I want one layer where we can do taller stuff. Now, it's still not super tall. You can see it's a nine inch, but that was really important whenever I designed the height and everything of this tray. It's wobbly because of the table. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry about that. I have this really old table that has the veneer like coating on the top. And anyway, it's a hot mess, but it's my favorite. All right, so first day we uh, painted all of the base coat. And in order to do that, if you wanna know what color I use, because I get that question a lot, I used my favorite off-white. What's my favorite off-white? It is bright white, a big glob, with a drop of brown. Um, I have found that burnt umber works best, but if you don't have burnt umber, you can use whatever you have available. So what I'm gonna do, I need to mix some more of this, so y'all can watch and see how not specific I am with the color. This was supposed to look vintage anyway, but I'm gonna just squirt a bunch of paint big glob, and I might not need that much, but I might, and I would rather have more than enough than not enough. Ah, Pam, okay, I really kind of felt like it was at the ugly duckling stage. I don't know if y'all saw my uh, Instagram story, but I was, like, when I put a picture up, I thought, oh gosh, that doesn't look very pretty. I don't know if I should post it, but I do love it, um, but it's gonna be gorgeous when we're finished. So what we're doing today is yesterday we clamped it all together. And if you order the kit, it comes with everything you need except the paint. And it comes with this glue. It is my favorite glue. I've been using this bottle. I don't know if you can see, it's still half full. Um, oh, <laughs> my cute earrings, Cindy. Um, my cute earrings might, might be a hint as to a bonus. Let me just say that, okay? So, yes, I love these, these earrings. Um, so anyway, this is Gorilla Glue, Gorilla brand wood glue, and it's my favorite. I buy it in bulk, and then anytime I'm doing kits that are, require like a lot of woodworking, um, this is my favorite paint, and this is what I've included in this kit. Bonnie, I haven't seen you in forever either. Thank you for joining me. So this is part three. Can't even like add right now. Let me just put all my fingers up. I'm stirring this paint, if y'all can see me over here. It, guys, it just looks bare. It almost has a, like a light pink tint to it. Don't let that scare you, okay? Hello, Miss Tina. Okay, so I use the back side of my paintbrush so they don't have to wash my bristles. Um, thank you, thank you. If you like it now, I think you're gonna love it later. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, I posted this on Instagram 
and I thought, oh my gosh, Kara, like that does not look good. Um, but it's all a work in progress. It's all a work in progress. So what we're going to do today is we are going to touch up any areas that I feel like need more paint. I did have one spot right here where it stuck to my paper. I wouldn't suggest doing that, letting it stick to your paper. Um, but I accidentally did. So I ripped it up, pulled as much as I could off and then sanded it down. Yes, please, please, please use that S button and sprinkle this with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so step three is just touch up. We're gonna paint our edges and I'll start over here so y'all can see. Okay, friends, this is gonna take two coats because we're covering up a really dark, burnt. This is literally burnt. It is, um, it's laser cut, so it, it burns the wood. So it's literally a burnt side. You don't, if you're like, but Kara, I love that look. You don't have to do this part. Don't have to. Yes, trust the process. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I wanted it to be more like that. Can y'all see that? Ah. And I will do the same thing on that lip on the inside, but it doesn't, you don't have to do but one coat if you don't want to, or you could do two made those tassels. No. Okay, Cindy, I actually did not make those tassels. I do have, if you go to my YouTube channel, I do have a video where I, I show you how to make tassels because I, I mean, I feel like every crafter at some point is going to want to make their own tassels. Um, Angela, it's on my website under craft kits, DIY craft kits. If you don't find it, message me and I'll give you the link. Um, but I want to talk to y'all about something else. So if you just jumped on um, or you have to go, make sure you jump back on because you're not going to want to miss this. But Cindy, go to my YouTube channel, search tassels. Whoops. And I do have a video walking you through how to make your own tassels. Okay. Um, Angela, these kits, they ship in about five to seven business days. They're all cut to order. They take at least an hour on the machine just to cut. So that's why they take a little bit of time. Um, they're longer than any of my other files, but they are beautiful. Okay. And it comes with everything you need except the paint. But if you missed it, the paint color that I used is bright white with a dot of brown. I used burnt umber. All right. So I'm just going around and I'm putting some paint on here, kind of doing the top. Now, let me show y'all the inside of that. Do you see up here? If you don't want it to be uh, super bright white, which I don't want it to be, you don't have to go over that heavily. And you could just go over it once really light, just to kind of knock the brightness off. Now, I will say I had a friend who, um, I don't know, y'all know as creatives, we tend to like, we go to make something and we have this idea in our brain and sometimes we tell somebody else about it. And um, no, it's not fleece, it's actually plastic. Um, anyway, we tell somebody else about it and they kind of look at us like we're smoking crack. Yeah, well, let me just tell you. This was my friend, Alicia. She may still be on. And when um, I told her about this tray and how, and then she saw that I was gonna be painting it white, but yet all the black from the burnt was still gonna show through. She was like, oh my gosh, Kara, that's not gonna work. And it was so stinking fun because yesterday I, we were talking and she goes, um, yeah, it was gorgeous. She goes, I get it now, I get it. Um, the kit is $49.99 shipped. Sorry. Um, $49.99 shipped. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Of course, I've got all these fun things going on. But if you've been living under a rock or if you haven't been on my page in the last few days, I got this wild hair and I decided this year that I wanted to do something completely different than what I've been doing. Um, you are very welcome, Brenda. I got a laser cutter uh, in November 
and I went crazy at Christmas time making all the ornaments and all the things. And I kind of fell in love with wooden crafts, not just door hangers, uh, because sometimes you just want to do something different, like something not for your front door, like something for the rest of your house. So I started cutting the tiered tray kits and I'm actually going to be painting a tiered tray kit to go on here that's Valentine's um, themed. But guys, today just opened, I rolled out a DIY home decor box. And you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Friends, it's $35 local pickup. It's $43 with shipping. It is a subscription, so it will come once a month, but you can cancel whenever you want to, okay? As long as you cancel before your payment drafts. Um, but I've only got 60 spots. The first 20 people that sign up get an extra bonus. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Um, get an extra bonus in their box. And, um, it won't open again. So we only, we're only open until the 15th or until those 60 boxes sell out. Um, and then what happens is you don't know what you're buying. I know it's kind of scary, huh? You don't know what you're buying. You have to trust. It's one of those things that if you like what I usually do, um, I, I think you're going to like this box. But what you're going to do is you're going to be put in a private Facebook group for my members. And every month you'll get a new box in the mail. You won't know what it is. You can open it ahead of time. You can open it afterwards. Bye, Cindy. We'll see you later. Um, but we're going to put it all together live. So you don't have to put it all together live. It comes with everything that you need to make whatever craft it is that we're making. Um, but we are going to do a unboxing video and assembly video so that by the end of that hour-ish, depending on how much we talk, um, you're gonna have a brand new home decor piece custom made by you. So, super fun, super exciting. I've only got 60 of those available. Um, it's the first month, first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, and I will, the boxes will be ready for pickup on the 25th or, or mailing, they'll all ship out by the 25th. So, um, I can't wait for all of our friends to get their first boxes and to have our first virtual meeting, um, crafting. And what I wanna tell you about this first box, okay, let me show y'all that middle tier. Can y'all see that? Now do you see the finished product? Okay, so I'm gonna do the other two tiers while we talk, but I figured y'all would be able to see that one the best. Um, but what I can tell you about this first project is it's reversible. It's gonna take you all the way through, uh, I believe it'll be April. So it'll take you through April. Um, so even if you don't do anything else home decor wise after um, this box for the next little while. You're going to have something super cute and festive for the next couple of holidays. Now, question that came up is, will every box have a holiday element to it? Nope. Not every box will have a holiday element. Some months it will be strictly home decor that is, you know, can be left out all the time. Um, but some months, because I do seriously love to decorate for holidays, um, it will have holiday elements. So it's just a surprise. Felt like during this time, everybody needs something fun, something to get their mind off of all the craziness going on in our world right now. And if I, if I could wrap up my excitement for this first box, Guys, like I can't, there's not a box big enough. Um, super excited about it, super excited. The link is at the top, it's on my website. It is um, kinsleyscreativepalette.com forward slash DIY home decor box. And I would love it if you all would sprinkle with your friends. Um, hopefully we will get 
everybody signed up and ready and into the group. And I can't wait to come back after the first project is done and show you all the pictures. Um, uh, and the question did come up too. If, um, let's say you really want to do the, the project, but you didn't buy the box. Uh, can you buy it later? You can, but it will be more expensive and it will be only as the um, availability, like only if I have the products available because I will be ordering the components for the boxes ahead of time, which is why there's a limited number of boxes. It's not just, I mean, I, I literally for this first box, I bought from five places. One of those being Amazon, which y'all know sells everything. Yay, Cindy! Oh, and I think, okay, Cindy, you should be good um, unless there were a bunch of people that signed up before you. You may have gotten one of the last couple of spots for the 20. They get the extra bonus. Uh, friends, here is a perk. So, Word of mouth advertising. I mean, there are a lot of people who jump on and they're like, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before. Totally, totally get that. I can't trust you. Um, not going to give you my money. I don't know what you do, right? Um, but if I say, oh my gosh, look what I just did with my friend or look what my friend does, um, all of a sudden you have credibility, right? So what I decided to do is anyone who sprinkles and has a friend that signs up because of their S-H-A-R-E, if you are a box subscriber, all you have to do is message me and say, my friend Tina signed up from my referral and you'll get a, an extra fun happy in your box. So, there's a chance you could get two bonuses in your box. Um, so, that is incentive to S-H-A-R-E, the sprinkle, um, the video, and also, if you signed up, there's a post. If you message me, I'll send you the link to the direct post that you can share with your friends. Whoops, I said the word. Um, and then that way you can try to get an extra bonus in your box. So, I appreciate you all so very much. I mean, I'm just going around painting, friends, I'm just spinning it. Um, and I know some of y'all have said, but Carrie, you said wait till the paint dries before you put a second coat on. Friends, I'm putting this on so thin that it's drying pretty much by the time I get back around. Okay? Ha! That's so pretty. Okay. Cindy, I'm so excited too. And one of the things that um, I was talking about with a friend of mine is it's hard to sell a surprise product because like if somebody is going to give you money, they want to know what they're getting, right? Which I know some of us have signed up for like Birchbox or, you know, different things like that in the past. And you know, you're getting makeup. You don't know what you're getting. So it's one of those things you're just gonna have to trust me. You're just going to have to know that I want to make this as amazing as possible. Um, and I'm super excited. Super excited. I'm already planning the second box. I haven't figured out. Guys, this was all like an idea. And a customer actually messaged me this week. She actually called me. My phone rang while I was working. And she goes, Kara. I said, yes, ma'am. She says, you know what you need to do? And I said... I actually already have all of the boxes lined up. That's totally okay, babe. Totally okay. I'm so sorry. Um, but she, I said, I already have all the boxes lined up. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. And she was like, you have to do it. And it was one of those things that I felt like, and this happened before I started my paint business. Um, I felt like somebody else spoke life into my dream. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And so I spent pretty much the next 48 hours making it happen. And yesterday she messaged me and she's like, how's it going? 
And I was like, girl, like it's not. My website's messed up, like all these obstacles. And she's like, take a break and come back to it. And friends, last night it didn't end up looking like the page didn't look like I wanted it to, but I had a button, I had a link and I tested it on my current members first to make sure that it worked and it worked beautifully. And so I'm so stinking excited. It's, it's happening. Um, so what um, I will tell you is after you join, you will get, um, you can request to join the private Facebook group and we'll get you accepted just as soon as we can. Um, hello, Miss Kelly. We'll get you accepted just as soon as we can. But um, if you get your box, let's say that like I ship out on the 25th and several of you live closer to me than others, you're not allowed to post a picture of anything inside your box. So nobody can know. Now you can post the outside of your box. You can say, I got my happy mail. Um, you're just not allowed to post the inside of your box because I want every one of you to get that same surprise. I want it to be a surprise for all of you. So, all right. If you're like, Kara, what are you doing? I am just putting a quick rough coat. Y'all see that? I went around the inside of this and I'm just kind of touching up. Just kind of touching up. Now, I will tell y'all, I don't know exactly what time it is, but the dogs are going to bark here in a minute. And my kiddos are going to walk through the door. And my son and I, we have a shipping date every afternoon. He goes with me to ship my packages. Um, and so we will be heading to UPS to ship some Valentine tiered tray sets. We've got some of those going out today. Um, I've actually got one of these going out today, which I'm super excited about. I'm waiting on a shipment of wood. I've been cutting like crazy. And I ran out of my favorite wood. And so I am waiting on a shipment of wood to come in. But so excited about all of the new fun stuff. If you have questions, though, please drop them in the comments. I would love to answer them. And if I don't answer it right now, I can jump on later on this evening and answer. Don't forget, if you're one of the first 20, you will get a special surprise in your box, in your first box, as a thank you for trusting this and for being excited. And then if you want another bonus in your box, um, just hit that sprinkle button. And if you have a friend sign up, message me and let me know, and I'll stick another goodie in your box. So that'll be in your first members box. That is for the DIY home decor surprise box. Okay, so this is getting close to done. Friends, I'm just kinda, I didn't want this to be like super solid. I wanted it to be very vintage, but there were a couple spots that I had missed with my first coat of paint. Let me show y'all up, up close. Can y'all see that? How pretty that is. So I'm just kind of touching up all the paint and getting it ready to spray. Some of you are gonna ask what spray I use. This is it, I'm gonna set it right there so you can see it for a minute. It's the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. I like it in the gloss, but depending on what product you're using or what um, product you're painting, I should say, you might want it to get it in matte or whatever finish. Friends, I'm just putting some paint on. If you missed the first and second part of this tiered tray and you're like, what are you doing? What are you painting? Um, I did two other videos this week where we assembled or we painted the base coat of the tray. And then in the second video, we actually assembled it. We used clamps and Gorilla Wood Glue and we put it all together. And then today I am just painting the outside edges. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, it's gonna be the kids. Just a minute, it's gonna get, it's gonna get loud. 
Hey babies, I'm love. I'm love. Love you. Um, so anyway, we stacked, there were three tall that we put together. And so they were black along the outside. So now we're just painting those edges. Oh, you did? Okay, so I'm, on, I'm live, Bubba. Are you, are you football playing already? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not supposed to tell y'all that. Um, there comes the other one. They're gonna bark again. So this is part three. It really doesn't take that long, but because I knew that several of y'all were gonna wanna see the entire process, I didn't wanna do it off camera. I wanted to make sure that I showed you in case you wanna go back and watch when you put yours together. And this one is taller than most of them that you will find at Hobby Lobby or um, other stores like that. Let me see if I can measure this and tell you how tall it is. The reason it's so tall is I wanted this bottom layer to be big enough to put eight inch um, items on. And so I did a nine inch layer right here. Okay, so let's, we're just gonna kind of measure this. Uh, let's see. It's approximately 20 inches tall, maybe like 19. And it does have these cute stubby feet. All right, I think I'm just about done. Just need to do a little bit of painting on the top. Now, I will be live the next few days um, painting the tiered tray pieces that are gonna actually go on here for Valentine's Day. They are super cute. If you haven't seen them, there's a whole set of six things that you get if you order. Uh, there's a digital file as well, but they are all these cute little components that you can paint to put on your tiered tray for Valentine's Day. And, what? Is this a kit? Yes, Beth, it is. The only thing that doesn't come in your kit is the paint. And at the beginning of the video, this video and the video that I did on Tuesday, I guess it was, I showed you how I mixed the paint. It's just white with a dot of brown. So um, that's the only thing that doesn't come in the kit. You will need clamps when you um, glue your, your trays, your tiers together. But other than that, everything comes in your kit. I even send you, where is it? My favorite wood glue, which is the Gorilla brand in a small bottle. This bottle lasts forever. Um, seriously, forever. Oh, Beth, I'm sorry that you have COVID. That's terrible. Cindy, yes. Um, and if you miss any of the videos, I will be publishing those live. Uh, I am not going to lie, I've been a little bit nervous to paint the tiered tray set because I have so many ideas in my head and I don't know what color scheme I want to go with. Hello, Miss Dana. Yes, Beth, it's awesome. It's $49.99 shipped. Um, turnaround time right now is about a week because these take a hot minute to cut. They, are, um, they take about an hour on the machine because of all of the detail. So, um, I wanted a very vintage but taller tiered tray so that I could do some taller elements. And I'm doing mine, you know, 100% for decor. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, that was very important to me. I'm telling you, it was very important that it be tall enough, um, which is why I did the taller stick on the bottom. Okay, now I'm turning this and I'm getting this top the inside lip. Can y'all see that? Hey, you can leave it like that if you want to. I love how there's still some dark contrast, but I did want just a quick coat so that it kind of matches the vintage white that I did on the inside. Hello, Miss Mary. Thank you, Dana. Um, I do too. I'm kind of digging this. Hey, Dana, FYI, um, 
I sent you a message last night. I don't know if you got it or not. Um, but, hey friends, Dana. Well, I have to say Mary was probably my first. Um, Mary was my first subscriber for the new box. And Dana was my second. Like, my girls. I love y'all so much. Like, those of you who were like, do it, Kara. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so very, very, very much. Okay, you don't want any paint tri drip trips. Did y'all hear that? Paint trips. You don't want any paint trips. You don't want any paint drips. I'm just gonna touch this up again. Sometimes um, where you think you got enough white paint, um, that black smoky laser cut area will um, bleed through. And so you might need another quick coat. But friends, I literally, this is not a lot of paint. Just kind of really thinly putting it on. Okay. Ah. So I'm going to spray this. <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm going to spray this with that protected coating. That'll just kind of keep it from scuffing. Friends, is that not beautiful? It'll keep it from scuffing and then um, it will be ready for decorating. So if you joined this video and this is the first video that you saw of the tiered tray, this was a three-part process. None of it took a long time, okay? None of it took a long time. Um, but I wanted to make sure I did it all live so that if you felt intimidated, you could go back and watch as you put yours together. Because I know a lot of times you're like, oh yeah, Carrie, you say that's easy. It's not really. Well, it really wasn't hard. It's just a little bit labor intensive, but it was super fun. And it's the kind of project that you could totally turn on um, a Netflix show and just zone out. I would not suggest turning on the news. Wouldn't, wouldn't suggest that. I mean, I'm not against watching the news, but like this is supposed to reduce your blood pressure, <laughs> not bring it up. Oh goodness. All right, I'm just kind of slapping some, I've got this extra paint mixed. So I'm just kind of slapping some paint on these little feet, making them a little bit darker. If you guys have questions about the DIY home decor box, let me know. Um, I don't think we have signups until the 15th, but I don't think they're going to last until the 15th because I only have 60 boxes and the first 20 were almost gone before I jumped on. I think we had two, two left in the bonus boxes. And then after that, I've got 40 more for this month. Dana, it's on the website. It is on the website. It is a DIY kit. Comes with everything except the paint. And there's a three part, this is part three, um, lives that I did this week showing you how to assemble it. So there it is. Okay, can I show y'all? I love, love, love how you can still see the dark in all of that detail. Can y'all see that? Still see all of that dark detail. Okay, so this is my tiered tray. It is on kinsleyscreativepalette.com. If you go to the main page, there's a box. There's like four boxes. It says shop template, shop blanks, shop lettering, and there's a new category that is shop DIY craft kits. And this is on there. It's $49.99 shipped and it comes with everything except the paint. So um, you can make your own taller than what you can buy in most stores so that you can put some bigger stuff at the bottom. Um, you can make your own vintage tiered tray. Y'all make sure you sprinkle video, show some love. If you signed up for the home decor box, thank you, Faye. 
and you sprinkle and someone signs up because of your sprinkle, all you have to do is message me. And in your first box, I will include an extra surprise as a thank you for the referral. All right. All right, friends, I think that's it. I am gonna um, head to UPS, drop off some packages, but I'm hoping to be live this weekend as long as everything goes right and um, paint the Valentine's Day pieces to go on here. So after this dries, I am gonna spray it with outside with my Rust-Oleum Two Time Ultra Clear in gloss. And um, I think that's it. And then I will be ready to decorate. So I'll see y'all back. Have a great day. If you missed the, pro the DIY bot home decor surprise box sign up, um, it's going on for the next few days or until I run out of boxes. I have 60 boxes. 20 have already been sold. Um, so I've got 40 more. And I am so stinking excited. I'm going to be working on cutting all those and getting them ready to package up. They'll be ready for porch pickup for locals on the 25th. And they will ship on the 25th to all of the members. You do get to go into the private um, members group. And you won't know what's coming in your box. What we're going to do is do a live unboxing and assembly of our project. Everything you need comes in the kit. The only thing you might want to have on hand is maybe a, a hot glue gun. Not necessary though. You don't have to have it. And maybe a blow dryer to dry your paint quicker if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay. You can just use what came in the kit. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. All right, friends, y'all have a fabulous day and thank y'all for watching. And yes, please, please share with your friends. Bye guys. Have a good one.